Hey there, guys. Uh, you're watching Riot Press Productions. Uh, my name is Patrick Thomas Purnell. I'm a comic book illustrator, a college instructor, and a co creator of a character named Giant Phantasm. How's everyone doing this Sunday? Bruce, how are you doing? Jay Lee, how are you doing? Shadowhawk, Johnny, Brad, good to see everyone here. Um, this is kind of a little bit late than, than the usual Sunday uh, show. I, I had a little bit of a, a sleep in today. Um, so, uh, you know, just kind of getting a, a little bit of a, a, a late start, but you know, better late than never. How's everyone doing out there? Is everyone doing good? Um, if everyone would just real quick, uh, give us a thumbs up and also, uh, share this out if, if you can, and we'll, uh, we'll, um, try to get some more people in here as, as this thing's going on. Um, let's see. All right. Yeah. Jay, there, I, I work all the time as I uh, listen to uh, podcasts or YouTube videos and so forth. So, yeah, work away. It sounds good to me. Let me see if I can get this camera angle a little bit better on these guys. <clears throat> so, yeah, I uh, the uh, a couple weeks ago, um, the uh, the wife and I went on a... Um, an anniversary, our, our one year anniversary uh, of our wedding, and we uh, we went to Disney in Orlando for a couple days and kind of did that little thing. Um, and while uh, on my way up, um, we stopped at a couple of uh, toy, like vintage toy stores, um, toy stores, small toy stores. One in Brandon, and we stopped at one in Orlando. Um, and I was able to, I don't know, it's weird. It's like, sometimes like, like when you go into, uh, toy stores, you don't, you don't necessarily know what you're looking for. Um, this happens to me a lot, you know, it's like, I, I know I want something, but I don't necessarily know what I want. Uh, so sometimes, you know, it's like you, you have an idea of uh, what you're looking for, but you might see something and that, and that thing might, you know, spark an interest. And when I walked into, it was, it's called V and C collectibles in Brandon. 
uh, when I walked to walked in the VNC, there was like a tub right there in the in the front, and it said everything five dollars. And I looked in there, and there was like there was all these gems. There was these Wildcats action figures. There was these Young Blood action figures. There were these Wet Work action figures, um, and a vintage Spawn figure. So I had to jump on it right away. Um, I was like five dollars. I was like, you can't beat that, you know? Uh, okay. Steve, Steve's been there. Yeah, like J and C collectibles. They 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 have a a, a recent. New, uh, new formatting and it, like the layout is much better than it used to be. Um, I actually got a little bit of tiff with with the the owner <laughs> um, a couple years ago. I, uh, I I jumped in there. Um, well, I was taking I was taking the wife and our daughter there. And it was Super Bowl Sunday uh, two years ago, and uh, I, I looked online and it said they were open. So I'm like, great, they're open, you know. And then we drove all the way up there. It's about an hour and a, like a little over an hour from where. Uh, where we live and we get there and they were closed for the super bowl like they close like at like uh five o'clock you know and, and they're supposed to close at seven but they 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 closed up shop very early for the super bowl and i was like i mean i'm not like a super bowl fan at all so i was just like what uh and i i, I kind of got this little bit of an argument with the guy about it because i just felt like they they, they should have advertised that a little bit you know on their uh instagram or facebook or something just to be like hey like, we're gonna be closed so I, I actually haven't been there since then so i was like two years ago um but we we were going up to orlando and i wanted to stop at uh jnc collectibles and then we and then the, the next day we went to echo base which is my friend's toy store in orlando and i was able to score uh this giant lot of old school image action figures uh minty on card you know um and i was again like when you know sometimes like like when you walk into a toy store or just any any type of collectible uh person will understand what i'm saying is you you have an idea of things you're looking for but you know sometimes you'll see something and then it sparks uh something in the back of your mind and then before you know it it's off to the races and then you've got a whole new collection going um and and i had this little space in in my little studio area that I've been trying to fill for a while, this little corner by the bookcase. And um, these, these figures fit nicely in there. So yeah, I, I, I grabbed, uh, I grabbed about three fourths of these at J and C collectibles. And then the other ones I grabbed at my boys uh, toy store uh, in Orlando called Echo base. And I was able to kind of get together a nice little start of a image collection. Now it's weird. Like when I was, like you see, uh, I I have uh, the Spartan and Grifter here. They they actually had Warblade, but I actually I passed on Warblade just because the figure was just so like not that good looking. He's all hunched over. But I, I think I'm actually gonna go back and see if they have them because um, you know it's it's more about the packaging and kind of kind of like the displayedness of them. So I'm gonna go back and see if I can get a couple more of these maybe next week or so forth. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm gonna, you know, like some of these figures, like, I don't think I had any of these figures, Well, I had the spawn figure, which I'm gonna talk about here in a second. Um, but I, I don't think I, I had any of these figures. So I, you know, I was really excited, um, to, to come across these. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked about having these in, like in my collection. So I think right out the gate, just real quick, get some new people in here. Ryan, how you doing, Steve? What's up? Um, Glad you guys can make it. Um, again, like if you guys are watching this, please, please give me a thumbs up and and share this out so so we can get some more people in here and, and talk about some toys. It's like a bunch of nerds. Um, but so so one of the reasons why I'm I'm kind of focusing on the the '90s aspect of toys is um, we're going to be doing Johnny Phantasm Extreme '93 pretty soon. I've already, I've already started doing some of the artwork. Um, and uh, we're going to be doing a new toy as well, or maybe a, a new couple toys. So the the Johnny Phantasm toy line is going to continue. It, it's going to be more '90s themed as we move move on. So there there might be some like accessories and some things that we can put on Johnny to kind of make him look more '90s. But we're going to be um, we're going to be uh, doing some more action figures uh, uh, later on. Um, and, and I'll talk about the, how, how the Johnny Phantasm campaign is going. Just real quick, though, 
the Johnny Phantasm action figure campaign is going to be coming down shortly because we're almost all out of figures. Um, you know, this, that symbol, like we had to pre-order figures going into this. Um, so we had a cap and the cap was at, at about $30,000. Uh, and, and we're, and we're about $800 away from the $30,000 mark. So everyone that has backed this, I love you guys. I appreciate it so much. Um, you know, you, you really helped us out and, you know, as far as taking a risk with the, with the action figure, you know, frontier, um, but everyone's made it worthwhile. And now, you know, things have gone so well, we're going to be able to do more figures, which I think is pretty amazing. So, um, I'm only buying CG toys. Well, yeah, I mean, Shadowhawk, uh, we're going to be, I, I mean, like, I'm making toys. Ethan's making toys. I'm trying to get Cecil together to to make a a um, Kenner style uh, Cecil action figure. Um, so yeah, I mean, like I think more people are are going to be doing action figures. So I mean, I think people are going to be able to have a um, action figure display here shortly with all CG stuff. Um, I think Shane's property is good to go. I mean, having a uh, a girl action figure with like these these four cats would be an awesome little package to get. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think I think everyone's gonna be branching out and doing some action figures, which I think is the new frontier. And then after you know after action figures comes animation and then movies, you know. Um, but the CG crowd is growing. I, I think more as the mainstream uh, industry kind of drops the ball, if you will, and kind of pushes away customers. I think we're going to be here to scoop them up. So, you know, when, when I see things on, on TV about, you know, the Cara Dune action figure getting canceled or, you know, uh, you know, just, just all these wacky things that, that some of these companies are doing with their characters, especially on like TV, I celebrate it because, you know, they're pushing away, uh, more people, uh, from the mainstream and then we're here to scoop them up. So, yeah, I mean, Ultra Star figure, that's that's next on the radar, too. That that will probably be a minute, though, because uh, I, I have to see how well the, the campaign does, too. So I, I don't want to bite off more than I can chew and start doing an action figure for Ultra Star when no one wants it. <laughs> so first, first, we have to do the initial campaign, which we're, which we're going to be launching soon. The, the Ultra Star campaign is ready to go. I mean, I could hit live at any second. I'm just waiting for uh, Peter Samedi to um, send me my books. I mean, I, I, like I, there, there's kind of like a, a a line like that I have to wait in as far as um, you know sending books to the printers, which I completely understand. But as soon as Peter sends me those books, uh, I'm going to be sending them out. And then as soon as I see one person have them online, I'm going to be going live with the Ultra Star campaign, and then you know off to the races, and then Extreme ninety three as after that. So it's going to be a really, really busy year for us. You know, like for Riot Press Productions, it's going to be a lot going on. Um, you know, multiple books, action figures, new action figures. Um, it's going to be really fun. So uh, I think everyone that, that has chipped in on this, you know, it's like, I know this is kind of a cheesy thing to say. It could do it without you. But yeah, I mean, we couldn't do it without you guys. So I definitely appreciate everyone that has contributed to to jumping in on, on Riot Press Productions and Johnny Phantasm. And I appreciate everyone that has signed up to the Ultra Star mailing list. It's big. It's a big list so far. So I appreciate everyone supporting us, um, and uh, we we hope to bring you more stuff. Um, and I'm actually going to be able to do that. I, I you know everyone knows that I'm a college instructor. Um, I actually quit my teaching job last semester um, because I was sick of it, but also because of the hardcore programming that's just going on in the college institutions these days. But I. Uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm all in with doing comics and toys and stuff like that. So you guys have my undivided attention now, which is good. Yeah, I hope so, Shadowhawk. You know, I, uh, I, I mean, Ultra Star is looking pretty good so far. We have that, that amazing cover by Kenneth. Um, and there's a couple surprises on the horizon, but we, we, we have to kind of just, I have to get the campaign up and running first and kind of see how that first day goes. School does suck, Johnny. Uh, school, our, our, you know, college is overrated. Uh, I, you know, I kind of wish that I would have just um, been more self-taught 
Uh, I mean, I, I definitely learned a lot of stuff at, at the Cuber School drink. Um, you know, Adam and Joe and Andy taught me a lot at, at the Joe Kubert School. Um, Dave DeVries was a painting teacher there I had there. John Ostrander was my writing teacher. So I definitely learned a lot from this from, from the Cuber School. But I, I wish I would have skipped out on going to college. I don't think the college was necessary because after I went to the Cuber School, I went to four years of college as well. So I, I have like seven years of school under my belt, which is, I mean, some people walk away with like doc, doctor degrees after that. But um, yeah, school. I mean, everything you 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 know of our art, you could learn uh, from the online now, which wasn't quite the case. You know, when I was going to school, but you know, if I was going to go to school today, I would just say no, just pay attention to stuff online. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run down some of these figures. Then we, like we're gonna talk about some Johnny stuff a little bit uh, through the way, and then we will uh, we will. <laughs> Steve wasted four four years in biz school. Well, I mean. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of wish I, I would have went to school for business or something or advertising or something instead of um, illustration and cartooning and a little bit of animation. But yeah, it's whatever. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to go I'm going to go down the line here of, of some of the things that I bought uh, and talk about them and talk about I'm not going to open these. Hell no, I'm not going to open these. Um, because I mean, part of the part of the allure of these figures is how great they look in, in their their packaging, especially the Wildcats, you know, um, which we'll talk about here in a second. So, first up the bat, we're we're gonna talk about this. This we'll, we'll start at the we'll start at the start. Let's see if we can get the the wiggle just right. There we go. So here we have the very first Spawn toy uh, by, well, by Todd McFarlane. But at this time, and, and I forgot about this completely, but, but you'll see right here, it says Todd's Toys. It wasn't even called McFarlane's Toys yet. It was just called Todd, Todd Toys. Not even Todd's Toys, it's Todd Toys. Um, and uh, I, I had this figure. Um, it... it this isn't a card back. This is actually a comic here in the back, which is kind of cool. But but what's funny is this whole plastic shell idea that that he's chilling in right here is actually is actually the idea of where I got the the idea for the Johnny Phantasm uh, figure being in the the complete the complete uh, plastic shell casing. Um, Shane and I were, were brainstorming. And we, we just were like, remember that spawn? I actually figure out how awesome that was. Now, obviously, mine comes with a card back. And what's fun about my packaging is you can open it. You can take them out. You can play with them, put them back, keep the casing. But with, with the spawn action figure, um, once you open it, that's it. And it's a, it's a real hard package to opening, too. Like, I remember when I was a kid, I had to get scissors to, to get into this thing. But I am 100% definitely leaving this spawn action figure in the casing. But man, I, I just I, I might actually look for a loose a Lucy of uh of um this spawn figure because I forgot how awesome he is. I actually have I still have the cape and the this little plank of wood that he comes with, which is a funny weapon to have if you spawn. Um so maybe I can find the figure in the chain somewhere, I don't know. But I mean this figure is just super fantastic. Like like it's it's kind of like animated looking. It does it's not as gruesome as the um as Spawn's toys or McFarlane's toys looked later uh, later on down the line. It's kind of more of like an animated look, which I like. You know, if if you guys know my style, like I kind of draw more in a design designy animation type style anyway. So I actually like this Spawn um toy design very much. Um, and this is, you know, this, this whole packaging, I, I think when, when they, when they put up that, that new spawn action figure Kickstarter, they, uh, they, um, kind of mimic it, m mimic, uh, mimic it after this design of being in the plastic casing and stuff like that. Although I think they did learn their lesson and I think the new spawn casing, you can open and put the figure, take them out and put it back in and so forth. Um, you know, see what, see what's here in the back again, we got Todd toys here in the back um this thing I, I think i might be looking for this thing pretty shortly it's a it's like the it's this spawn mobile again from from todd's toys 
I, I forgot about the Violator vehicle as well. And then this thing is super awesome. The Spawn Alleyway, which would be great a gr great way just to display just a bunch of different figures. But here we got on the back, we have uh, Spawn, Tremor, Medieval Spawn, which is another awesome character. Uh, the Clown, the Violator, Overkill, and then the vehicles in the playset. But uh, again, this is, what does it say in the back here? It says... Uh yeah, it says Ink Todd Toys. So this this is like I totally forgot about it, but this is before McFarland Toys. Um, this was when Todd was just getting his feet wet with the action figure um frontier. Um, kind of how I am right now with with the Johnny Phantasm. I'm just kind I'm figuring stuff out with the Johnny Phantasm. Um, and this is I, I'm kind of in the place where where uh Todd McFarland was uh, uh, right here. Um, but again, this is an amazing figure. I was super stoked to find this. Now, this one was actually this one was ten, um, and uh, and I I uh, I'm more than happy to pay ten for this because I actually think it's worth more. Um, but I have this proudly displayed next to uh, some other things on the wall. Um, I don't have it in in the image corner where, where the rest of the stuff is. I have it kind of more of a more uh, higher up type of position because again, like this figure is just super amazing. A lot of childhood memories come back looking at this figure, um, but um, yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna be looking for a loose a Lucy of this guy because I want to put him in the toy case. I love the cape, um, but yeah, this 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 was the start of of McFarland's toys, Todd's toys. So Lake Kick is saying, get a hold of Kim. Uh, oh, okay. So, so he he's, he's got an eBay store with some some toys. Awesome, yeah. I get I get in trouble like going on eBay like late night. I'll I'll uh, oh damn Shadow Hawk, you got the car in the truck. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I get in trouble if I go late night on eBay. So I have to go on eBay when, when the wife's around because I, before I know, it, I just start buying up everything. Um, but yeah, again, I was super stoked to find this and, uh, yeah, this is a gem. So I'm going to put this away oh, off the side here for a second. Um, let's see, what are we going to talk about next? Uh, let's, well, let's talk about this. Um, we'll, we'll just, we'll just keep on going with the spawn theme. So here we have, uh, Angela, um, kind of a, 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 a figure of, uh, you know, much dispute <laughs> as of late, you know, with, with, uh, well, not late, I guess it's like 10 or 15 years ago. Now it seems like it was recent, but, um, this is a, a character that Neil Gaiman created in the spawn world. And, uh, you know, um, Todd and Neil Gaiman were kind of fighting over it for a little while. And then, um, I think, uh, you know, I think what Marvel owns Angela now or something like that. Or Neil Neil Gaiman owns Angela, but he publishes it through through Marvel, something like that. But so so what's funny about this about this? Uh, yeah yeah, just 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 shoot me um, his email uh, and on, on my Twitter. I'll check that for sure. Um, <laughs> Sam says he buys toys for his girlfriends, but he's not sure if that counts. So it depends on what type of toys you're talking. <laughs> okay, so. I don't remember this figure at all. Like I actually kind of like, I remember the Wildcats figures. I remember seeing some of these figures around, but I never really got invested in them, but I don't remember this character or this toy at all. But something that is very impressive with this, this figure is just the, the quality of the sculpt. I'm not sure if it's coming through. I'll try to get it really close, but the quality of, of, of the sculpt is it's really done. Well, um, I was actually surprised when I was looking at her. I was like, I was looking at her joints and then just the proportions and her hair and the face. I mean, we kind of take for granted like 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 McFarlane's toys and what they do now, you know, especially with all the like the new DC stuff that they have in um, Walmart and Target. But you kind of forget like what what these guys were doing at the time. I mean, this was like like revolutionary. This this actually might be a, a four horseman sculpt. Like now that I'm thinking about, it. actually a lot of these are a lot of these Todd McFarlane toys might might all be four horsemen sculpts. Which if if you know much about the four horsemen, they're kind of like 
these these sculptors that started at, at, at McFarland and then they branched out to do their own company. Um, and they and they work for a lot of uh, toy companies now, like Mattel and so forth. They did like all the um, the Masters of the Universe uh, classics, which which was is probably like one of the biggest toy lines ever. Um, I have a bunch over here on the shelf. They're like the seven inch um, He Man figures. But now that I'm looking at this, it makes sense that this would be a a four horsemen sculpt because it's just it's so perfect and the paint job is done so well especially on her face again i'm not sure if, I, if you can see the details on here but her face just looks like super good um and i and i and again like at, at the time you know when this is coming out what year is this this is well i'll flip it over to the back this is what year is this this is probably like 93 or 94 let me i can't find any oh, there we go it's on the bottom it is uh, 95, okay. But, I mean, at this time, they weren't doing a whole lot of super crazy detailed stuff like this. So this was kind of like a, uh, a, a big deal like to have a toy this detailed. So here we have some figures on the back. Right, and these are some of the figures that we just saw. Um, Tremor, Medieval Spawn, Clown, Overkill, Spawn, and Violator. So I guess that's, that's wave one of the uh, McFarland toys. Now here it, it is called McFarland toys. So by this point, Todd has switched from Todd's toys to, to McFarland's toys, which is great. And you know, this is, this is the, the start of it all. Um, but so wave two is, you know, part of the McFarland, uh, McFarland uh, toys start, I guess. And here we got on the back, we have bad rock chapel, Commando spawn, Angela, and then the uh, I don't know how you say that. Mail mail boy gula, mail mail boy gula, mail boy glia something gia. Um, it's like another version of violator. I don't. I'm I'm saying that word wrong. I apologize. And then uh, here we have uh, pilot spawn over here, which. He's got a bunch of gear. He's got like a wings that that, that that come with him. I don't know if you guys can see him. Um, but and then the vehicles, and then there's like a motorcycle, a violator motorcycle, and then there's a spawn air cycle. I guess that's for the 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 pilot spawn. Um, but yeah, I mean, so so what's interesting about this is we kind of see him starting to come into his own uh, with with wave two of the spawn toys. Um, and it's it's interesting that he has Badrock in here because Badrock is a, a young blood, um, but he was in a couple issues of Spawn, so um, that that's kind of interesting. Um, and actually, I, I do have the Badrock figure over here, but it's it's funny. Like I'm looking at the Badrock figure that I have here. The Badrock figure is blue, but then the Badrock figure that I'm looking over here to my left, he's actually red. So that's kind of funny seeing that. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna look for some of these. I like to get, I like to get Commando Spawn. I like to get uh, Pilot Spawn. Chapel would, would be fun to get too. Um, but yeah, I, I like how these guys are looking. at. you know, I might, I might kind of look for some of these. Again, I, I'm gonna kind of just boost up my my Image Comics toy corner. Um, but again, like I love these figures. Like they're so like detailed. Again, for for being like 20 years old or. 25 years old, 30 years old, you know, these are pretty sharp looking, um, especially for the day. All right. So we'll put Angela aside. Let's see. Let's, uh, well, let's jump into, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it going with the spawn, but then we'll, we'll, we'll kind of do a segue to, uh, we'll do a segue into young blood. I'm not sure if I need to move this light a little bit so you guys can see this better. So here we got Badrock, which is kind of like I mean everyone like remembers Badrock. He was kind of like like the the Hulk type of character of Youngblood. No, Brad, I actually missed out on uh, the Spawn Kickstarter. I was dumb. I like I I was, I you know I was kind of like really anti Kickstarter at the time, and I I mean I guess I still am, but. You know, I was being really stubborn, and I was like, "No, I'm not going to back it because it's on, it's on Kickstarter." But if I know Todd, T Todd is not going to leave money on the table. He's he's going to make some type of retail version of that figure that everyone 
will be able to buy at a later date. As soon as everyone gets, um, yeah, I think Vinny did work for Mark, um, before I went toys. I'm not sure what he was doing. Um, but, uh, oh, what the fuck was I just talking about? Total brain fart. Anyway, what was I talking about? God damn it. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, so here we got bad rock, um, looking pretty sharp. Uh, lots, I mean, pouches galore. I mean, look at all these pouches on them. It looks so awesome. And then, so it says spawn here, but then what's interesting is at the top, it says Rob Liefeld's young blood. It's a little sticker that they put on there. And then later on down the road, as you'll see, they actually do a, this straight up, uh, um, Young blood toy line, which which I'm definitely going to be investing. Yeah, it's big. Don't blame me. It's no, I didn't smoke today. I, I didn't know. It's just I uh, just someone distracted me for a second. I uh, so it's it's not that. I just I kind of just get all disoriented. What's up, Rick? How are you doing, sir? Zaid, how are you doing, brother? I, I'm stoked that uh, Magic Hop is doing so well. Congratulate on that. So here we got uh, Bad Rock. He, he's got the a the ammunition here on his shoulder, of course, and then the grenades and the pouches. I mean, this thing is just like '90s, fantastic '90s goodness right here. Uh, you can't really beat that with a stick. Um, and again, this is uh, you know it's a spawn action figure line, but you know he is Bad Rock is of course part of Youngblood. Here, let's let's flip him over. Now the back of this is is pretty much the same as Angela's back. Um, you see spawn wave wave one Todd's toys and then we got wave two again it's showing bad rock here in the blue but uh the toy is in is in the red now uh, like that like that shit happens a lot um there's actually uh there's a new uh grimlock action figure that that is out um for for the studio series for the 86 movie and the figure actually looks like amazing um but if you look on the back diagram of the Grimlock action figure, it shows the neck part of, of the Grimlock to be a translucent piece, which that's how it's supposed to be. And then he has a chest piece that is kind of translucent as well. Um, and that is, is but, but, but when you open up the toy, there isn't a translucent piece on the neck. And then the chest plate isn't that clear. It's almost like sunglasses. It's kind of like a dark. So it's funny how they, how they'll put figures a certain way on the back. And then when you get them, they're, they're completely different. Again, here we got, again, he's there, he's blue. Um, so it's, it's, it's kind of interesting when they, when they do that. And, and I'm actually going to, with, with the Grimlock toy, I'm actually going to hold off. And cause, cause I, I know Hasbro, like they're going to make the clear version of, of that toy soon. So I'm, I'm going to hold off on that. Um, but yeah, I, I was stoked to find this guy because, you know, if you're, if you're a collector of image stuff, um, everyone knows bad rock, you know, he's kind of like one of those iconic looking figures from back in the nineties. So, um, I was stoked to find him. Um, and he's gonna go well with the, uh, with the collection. So we'll, we'll do a little segue from spawn toys to young blood toys next. So here we have Dutch from Youngblood. Um, I, I like. I don't remember this character that well. Um, you know, uh, like like the guy that I always remember. What is his name? Is uh, Shaft the, the 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 guy that's basically like um, Hawkeye? Um, but. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like the, this guy is amazing. Uh, he's got again lots of pouches, lots of ammunition. He's got lots of gear around his head. Um, he comes with a lot of like weird accessories. And and what's fun about the sculpt is, you know, they're and this was kind of like revolutionary for the time. But they're not just the like the Kenner style, the figure that's just standing up and down. You know, kind of like how the Johnny Fantastic figure looks. They they were kind of getting into more elaborate poses, which I think is great. Um, so and the details in the paint job, it's like they were kind of taking stuff to a whole new level, which I think is great. I I I, I like to pick uh, 
McFarland's head on this one of these days and, and ask him, you know, where he was getting these, um, where, where he was getting these manufactured because they, they, they look very much so like Playmates toys. Um, so uh, I, I, I'd like to pick his brain uh, for a second. Hey, guys, hold on one second. I got to run and let a cat in because he's outside going nuts. I'll be back in two seconds. All right. So yeah, like I don't really recall this this guy, um, but I'm happy to have him nonetheless. Um, and, and something that was funny that I was thinking about was it, it's it's interesting how like everyone had to have their symbol. You know, it's like they um you know with the whole X Men symbol thing and, and and these guys coming from from Marvel. It's it's fun that everyone had to have like a symbol, which I think is kind of. Uh, Neat. And, and I think I might want to maybe develop a, a Johnny Phantasm type of symbol, something that might look good. It, it, uh, um, Malin has done a great job with the graveyard shift with their logo. So I might want to kind of come up, come up with something like that for, for the Extreme 93 uh, series and toy line. But let's, let's, so if you flip them over here, here we got a lot of new stuff to look at. So here we have... Uh, you know the the entire uh, a picture of the entire uh, Young Blood toy line. We got Die Hard, Dutch. We have right here Shaft, Troll, Crypt, and Sentinel. Um, and then we have a down here. Like we have a it looks like a, a uh, so we have the Wetworks up here, which we have some of those figures that we're going to look at here in a second. And then we have Wave. This is looks like Wave Three. Um, which which has Cosmic Angela, Spawn is it's either Spawn two or Spawn eleven. I'm not sure what that means. Um, Vert Verta Breaker, uh, the Curse, um, that that one Angel Spawn looking guy. Actually, I would like to get him. He's pretty cool. Future Spawn, Ninja Spawn, classic. Um, and then you know the, like the Wave one and Wave two is down here in the bottom, but um. So, so even though Bad Rock was part of the Spawn line, uh, you know he's still a young blood. And here we go, he's in blue still. And, you know the, the 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 red toys out. I don't know what they're doing, but um, yeah, this guy looks great. And again, not super familiar with his character, but he was there. He was five bucks, and I think he looks great. He kind of has these weird like like metal futuristic like bunny ears <laughs> not exactly sure what what rob was thinking uh, you know it's like you know back in the 90s it's just i think they were just trying to put a much uh, as much things on these guys as they as they could hold you know um but uh he looks fun and um you know i'm gonna get more of these guys so we're, we're gonna put him aside for now all right let's see so let's grab, let's see, let's grab this guy next. Dozer from Wetworks. Now these guys are great. Oh, I haven't had a little box for him to sit on. There you go. I really liked these guys a lot because um, I like the gold paint. I know, I know it's silly to say things like that, but I, you know, I just I just like weird versions of things and something about the gold paint with this guy I find very appealing. Um, and and Wellworks is another one of those books that I I didn't really follow too closely at the time. I was I was really into Wildcats. I was really into Spawn. Um, but but some of the the like the other uh, image books I didn't really follow that closely. So I wasn't a huge Wetworks fan. So I definitely didn't see these guys. But uh, I'm happy to have them now. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to be getting some more of these guys. So this guy's name is Dozer. Um, yeah, I mean, his sculpt is just really good. I, and I, I'm, I'm wondering if this is still the four horsemen. Good job on the gun has like some silver paint with some splatters on it. Uh, but the, I mean, the painting details are just so great. And then the back is the same as, 
the, the Dozer character that we just looked, except for they swapped out these two things. So instead of what works being there now, that's young blood. And then we have what works up here, but the layout is essentially the same. The characters on the top, we have uh, Dozer, we have Mother One, Dane, Grail, Vampire, and Werewolf. Um, so that's fun. I mean, I like how Dane looks and how Grail looks. So I, I might scoop those guys up too because it looks like they're part of the Wetworks team. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like this. This was another pleasant one uh, to come across for only five dollars. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad to have this in, in the, uh, display heavy fire power guns. All right. Twin ammo belt. All right. I'm, I'm sold. And, and what's fun about this is they, they do this thing where they, they number these and you, you, you'll see it more. There's a, there's a number up here, but you, the, uh, the wildcats, toys do this numbering system which i find very interesting it's like for collectors or something like that uh i i've never really seen it's like they don't do stuff like that anymore maybe maybe we'll we'll, we'll number the johnny phantasm figures so when people get them they can know which ones they're getting um so yeah it's kind of fun all right let's look at another one All right, so here we have we, we we saw her on the back, but now she's she's in front of us. This oh no, this is a different one. Who is she? Oh, there's other character. Okay, so I guess there was two. So there was two waves of uh, young blood figures. Okay, all right. So this is uh, Pilgrim. Um, again, like I'm not really too familiar with the with the. Uh, wet work figures or characters, but, uh, you know, I, I scooped these up because it was a very good deal. Uh, but man, look at these weapons, like such detail. It's like, again, at 95 or whenever these were being made, like you weren't seeing guns made like this, you know, the, the, the detail that these figures are now her face is a little funky. Um, but the figure does still look pretty great. And again, like, I, like I'm really rocking this because I like the unity of having all these kind of displayed together. And then I also like um, the packaging. The packaging is really done really well. So, yeah, I, I didn't know. I mean, I, I looked at this briefly like when I got it, but I, I, I kind of just put them up in display and didn't notice. But so there's a couple new characters here on the back. Uh, we've got Delta Commander. We got Frankenstein. Uh, we got Pilgrim, which is... It's interesting. So the pilgrim on the back is painted gold, but she is painted skin color. That is that has to be a mess up because the the what there she is. She's in gold right there. That's that's kind of shitty. I, I would have much rather have her in gold. So this must be like some type of like uh, mishap. Because you know she's part of the 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 Wetworks line again, something I, I I'd like to talk to someone about and kind of pick their brain. So next up is Assassin One, which he looks like kind of like a demon, but he's translucent blue. Uh, I love translucent characters, so I might have to get him. Um, Men Mendoza with a really big gun looks pretty cool, and then you got Blood Queen, uh, which is you know this again. This is part of a, a series two of, of Wetworks, which I didn't even know they made a series two. But I like this guy a lot. I wonder if he is skin tone. But Delta Commander, um, I think he would look really good to have. I like to scoop him up. I mean, really big and fun packaging. Um, I you know I think they 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 definitely knew what they're doing as far as getting the attention of kids. I just wonder where like where these toys were because you know I didn't see them at Walmart. I didn't see them in Kmart. Um, I wonder if these were like like KB toys. Probably KB toys probably had these, and then maybe like Toys R Us probably had these as well. Um, but uh. Yeah, I mean, this is an interesting figure because on the back it shows her in gold, and then here she is skin toned. Now I wonder if they did two versions of her, or if this was a, a some type of mishap. I'm gonna have to do some investigating and find that out because that's very interesting. All right, so real quick, we're just gonna go over. Uh, we're gonna do a little a little bit of advertising, if you will. Sorry, the camera was bumped. Um, we're gonna talk about Johnny Phantasm here for a second. Um, 
as everyone knows, I'm along with the Johnny Phantasm cartoon or comic book. We we we're also doing you know Johnny Phantasm the action figures. Um, now what's 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 an interesting thing about these figures now is uh, we're we are just about sold out of these action figures. So if if you're if you're thinking about getting these figures, I don't have a way to stand them up. If, if you're thinking about getting these figures. Um, now is the time if you have not, because we're, we're you know, I have a, a about enough for uh eight to maybe 15 sales on Indiegogo. Um, the link is in the description. If you know, I want everyone, especially you know, if you're a comic skate, I want everyone that that has has that wants this toy to get it. Um, but uh, I, I just talked to the toy manufacturer um today. Uh, or the toy manager Jesse, um, and we're we're already talking about what what's what's next on the horizon for the Johnny Phantasm action figure universe, and we we we've got a couple ideas. I pitched them some ideas uh, for some figures. Um, we're gonna be having hopefully some henchmen coming out soon. I'd like to have those out by Christmas, um, but these figures are. St- Top notch. Uh, if you're a fan of Kenner style figures, these these are more articulated than the Kenner figures. Here's the glow and dark one, which is my favorite. Um, uh, if if you're a fan of retro style Kenner style figures, you know these figures are are, are the figures for you. Um, and then here we have some examples of them in their in their casing. Now, what's fun about these casings is you can open them up and take them out and display them, and you won't you won't rip open the package. Uh, I have this saying that I, I say every time a a toy package is opened, an angel loses their wings. Um, so uh, you, you don't you don't have to worry about that with these. Um, you know, you can you can open up the figure, you can you can take them out and and put them back on uh, or put them back in. Actually, I think I have. Hold on one second. I have a. I'll show you something fun. Hold on one second. So I have here. Uh, this is some examples of of the of the heads that come with them. I'll show you guys how they how they work. I'll put I'll put them on. You can see them. So these guys are going to come with. Uh, it's like a figure, and then the the holsters. It comes with a necklace. It comes with um, two guns. That come out and he, he holds them very well and then he comes with the, the holsters which are different it's a different piece of plastic as well so there, there's many layers to this figure but what's also fun about this figure is their heads come off really easily and he comes with a interchangeable head with hats so he actually comes with a interchangeable head with a hat right there and they all they, they all come with this this hat too and that, and that'll be in the uh, the pack uh, the packaging as well. So, we, you know, we're going to be doing a whole line of these figures, um, but this is the jumping off point. So it's like if you're going to want to collect these down the road, you're going to want to get Johnny because you know we're going to be doing other characters after this, um, and Johnny's kind of like the starting point. Um, so everyone's going to want to jump in and get these. Um, we're, we're we're almost sold out. Um, I want everyone to jump online and grab these uh, right now if you have not, because we, we seriously only have enough left for maybe eight to fifteen sales, like like depending on on what you like what you purchase at at the store. Um, if you buy one figure, you know, obviously, like we'll, we'll we'll have more inventory. But what's happening is, oops, sorry, what's what's happening is people are walking away with at least three figures because. You can buy the three figures in a bundle, but you know, everyone's buying three or some people are buying like nine figures. Um, so we, 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 we don't have an infinite amount of inventory with these. So it's important. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're pro CG, if you're, if, if you want to support CG, um, now is the time to kind of jump on here. Uh, how's the chat doing? What's up past past master Dan. How you doing? Hell brother. Uh, Greg is here. What's up, Greg? How you doing? Max, how you doing, sir? Yeah, Max, like we got some Wildcats uh, action figures here in the house. Um, if everyone would, uh, please give me a thumbs up real quick. Uh, su- subscribe if you have not. I'm sure everyone here is subscribed. And also, 
uh, if you could, um, maybe share this out and let's get some more people in here and, and talk about some stuff. Um, but that that was my quick Johnny Phantasm action figure ca uh, campaign commercial. The the link is in the description. Now, I like before the end of the show, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about these again just for people that are coming in late. Um, but the action figure campaign is going very very well. Um, we're gonna be having more action figures coming coming for everybody. Um, and you know, this is the start of. I mean, this is the start of, a, of a, an entire toy line. Um, next time, we're going to be maybe doing two new characters um, with lots of different colors of those characters. Um, and uh, we're, we're just going to be branching out. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff. I like to do, I mean, I like to do a DeLorean um, or some type of car to, to go along with Johnny, like that he can sit in. Um, but that's, you know, that's, that's very wishful thinking. But I, I'd like to do a, a DeLorean to go with them. All right, so we're going to talk about these, these Wildcat figures here, and I'll kind of save the best for last, which is, you know, I think Grift, Grifter is everyone's favorite from the Wildcats. But I'm going to talk about this guy, because I didn't even know that they made a, a Pike action figure. Um, let's make sure he's all in there. Yeah, he's in there. Like, I was I was unaware that they even made a Pike action figure. Now, Pike is actually, like, one of my favorite um, uh, Wildcats villains. Um, I got, um, I got introduced to him actually, uh, through the, uh, the, um, black, uh, backlash, uh, series with that, with that character. Um, and I just, you know, I just really, I, I think his name is backlash, right? Backlash is the name of the character. Do I have that right? He's, he's like that dude that's like a black and white with, with like the, the purple flame whips. <laughs> I know if that's like. A good description of, of him or not uh but i, I liked pike in, in that series and there was there was a fun series that was like backlash teamed up with uh ben riley clone spider-man and then it was like it was them versus venom and pike which was which was a fun image marvel crossover um so i was really stoked to find this guy because i didn't know that he existed but here's that thing that i was talking about it's I think it's interesting how they they were able to number these. We have the numbering system right here. Now I wonder how this numbering system worked. I'd like to see another another Pike to, to, to see what the numbers look like. Awesome that they came with a little card. Something that I was kind of disappointed in him. I got him anyway. But I always thought he was supposed to be black. But he ha they have them as like an olive green here. Now I wonder if he was if this figure is actually black and he just, he's just faded. We'll have to look at I'll look at him in the back here in a second. But like I always thought he this part that's green here was supposed to be black. Um, that's the way I was, I remembered him or maybe it changed over time or maybe that's the version. But so, so, so what's fun about this is this is made by playmates. This is made by the same people that made the turtles. Now this is an interesting time. What year is this? This is, uh, 1995. So, you know, the, the turtle error here has, has probably wind down a little bit. And then Playmates is branching out to new stuff. They're looking for, for new uh, properties. And, you know, they were probably looking at the landscape. And they're like, all right, well, you know, uh, X-Men is really hot. But, you know, we can't get X-Men because X-Men belongs to um, another, uh, you know, another, um, I, I guess, uh, Toy Biz had it at the time. You know, like X-Men belongs to Toy Biz. And then they probably looked at, they, they, they probably picked up some, some, x-men comics and they saw this guy jim lee drawing it and they're like well you know how about this what's this guy working on right now and they probably saw wildcats and then they're like well let's just let's just do jim lee's wildcats which i think is is pretty great and i think one of the most pleasing thing about this figure and, and you'll see it here with the wildcats cut out right here but they had very unique die cut card backing that goes with their characters. Now, I mean, that's kind of expensive to do. I mean, usually with with figures, and you, you, like, you see this with the um, with the uh, McFarland toys I just looked looked at. It's a very uniform type of look that the packaging looked. They they were all cut the same way. Having these these figures kind of cut out individually different that gets kind of expensive. Um, and and I'm kind of wondering if. You know, if it was too expensive at the time, and, and that's why this 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 toy line wasn't really big. Now there there was a cartoon series 
there was a cartoon series for Wildcats that that was out for a, a minute. Um, that I guess maybe maybe this was going along with it at the same time. Um, so maybe they thought uh, putting a little bit of extra money and packaging was a good thing. Now, me personally, I fucking love it. Like I love this little cutout up here where his sword is sitting and then his shoulder goes up and the peg hole is right here. I mean, I love that, that, that cutout. That's great. Um, but I'm just wondering if at the time, if, if they were a little over ambitious and they spent a little too much time and worrying about the cutout. Now, something I'm worrying about this is, so here we see Pike has a little piece missing of fabric on his head. Uh, but obviously it's not like that in the toy. Um, I, I wonder if this was taken from a comic and then, made into an action figure um it's just it's very interesting that they have the 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 pike guy with 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 a type of uh um battle damage on him that isn't on the figure all right so let's spin this guy around and we got jim lee's wildcats corvette corvette action teams covert We got Warblade, we got Gr uh, Grifter, um, we got, uh, how do you say her name, Zealot, um, was that Jasper, are you saying that the Tick had die cut cards, that's interesting, I never saw those. I'm just, I'm just looking to see what you guys are saying. Um, I mean, we got them all here. We got Spartan. We got Maul. We got uh, Void. We got Voodoo. We got Pike. Mr. Majestic. I like to get Mr. Majestic. Slag. Black Razor. I don't remember Black Razor. Um, Hell's Point. I remember him. And then, and then there's another version of him. I like him. He's got a like, translucent head. Another version of Maul, another version. Of, so, so, so they got a couple versions of these guys. Now, I did see the Warblade guy out, but I didn't actually like the way that he looked. I thought he looked kind of not good. But what what's what's interesting about these guys is you can't really get them for like how good like the sculpt is. You 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 gotta get them for the whole packaging. Um. So here, so here we got the some of the info here. We got Playmates, Wildstorm. Uh, it's just awesome seeing Wildstorm and Playmates right right there next to each other. I'm I'm actually surprised that there isn't a uh, a um, a uh, image logo. Now here we have I don't remember this. It says coming soon Wildcats the video game. Do you guys remember there being a, a Wildcats video game? I don't remember there being a Wildcats video game. Did anyone out there have the Wildcats video game? I don't recall it. Um, but uh, nonetheless, I, I just I like this. I, I like looking at these the same way that I like I like looking at the the um the uh, old school Todd's toys and 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 McFarlane toys because it's kind of it's reminiscent of where I'm at right now with Johnny. You know, it's like I, I have more figures I want to do. Um, I'm probably getting a little a little over ambitious. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to bring it in a little bit, um, but. I like seeing these guys at this point because I feel like this is kind of where I am right now um, with w mentally, you know, ma uh, making my figures and whatnot. But yeah, Pike, awesome figure. Let's, let's keep it moving. All right. Let's look up Spartan next. I think everyone's second favorite. Wildcat. I don't know what, what's what's it, what's everyone's like. I, I assume that everyone's favorite Wildcat is Grifter, but I, I could be mistaken. And it's 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 funny because like you know everyone online calls everyone like a Grifter now, and I, uh, I like every time I hear Grifter, I, I always think of Wildcats. I don't even think of like the actually the act of grifting. You know, I I always think of Wildcats like when I hear Grifter. Um, so it's like when when someone calls me like a Grifter, I'm like thanks. Um. A lot of a lot of war campaign guys like throwing out like the the phrase grifter, which is kind of silly. Um, but here we go. Uh, we have Spartan, um, and again we have this awesome die cut situation here, where where his his fist is bursting out of the package, but it looks great. Um, it looks like I, I wonder if Scott Williams uh, inked this 
it, it kind of does look like him, but it kind of looks like Jim Lee's inks as well. No, it's it's Scott Williams. Cause I I can see the brushwork, but yeah, I mean it's such a great illustration, and you know I'm I'm very excited to have this thing just on display, um, uh, like on my wall. The, the the only bummer thing about this you'll see right here is um there there's still the the original toy toy works. Do you guys know what Toy Works is? I, I'm not familiar with Toy Works. Uh, th down here in Florida, like we had KB Toys and we had Toys R Us. That was pretty much it. I, like I don't know what Toy Works is, but maybe that was s s somewhere else. Did, did, did any of you guys have uh, Toy Works by by your house, when, like when you were a kid? I don't remember Toy Works at all. Um, so let's, let's flip them over. So, oh, the back is a little bit different than the other one. That's, that's interesting. I wonder if this one came out first. I bet you anything this, this came out first. Cause this, we don't have any of the other guys here. So this looks like this was the wave one. And then, um, with, with, uh, Pike and those guys, I guess that must've been wave two. So, so they got more of an elaborate type of thing. And again, you know, everyone has, has to do their symbol. That's one of the things that I just adore about, about, uh, about these old school nineties, um, comics is that they, they, everyone's got to have like their symbol, you know? Um, I like this. He comes with a little, it's not a cell phone. It's a communicator. <laughs> this is like before, like everyone had cell phones. So it was very, it's not even in there. What? Oh, I'm seeing it. See, I didn't notice this before. It's missing the communicator. And I just noticed this. It's slightly open on the bottom. So I guess the communicator or cell phone must have fallen out. I'll have to look and see if see if I have it around here. Actually, since I got this thing open, I might there's there's a Wildcat sticker inside. I might try to get out. Let's see if I can get it out right now. I don't want to I don't want to ruin the packaging, but I do want a Wildcats. Is it? Oh, it's like taped down. Well, I'll, I'll worry about that later. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll get that out and I'll, I'll show everyone online later. But yeah, there's like a little, it's like a, I don't know if it's like a stand. It might be a stand. But it's like a little stand that has like a wildcat symbol. But yeah, the, there's a little bit of opening on the bottom. I didn't notice that. I I, I, I still would have paid some money for him. I, I bought this guy at um, Echo Base. Um, so I can, I, I can hit up, I can hit up uh, Scott and, and tell him about the cell phone and maybe he, he you can look around for it. What's awesome here is Spartan has a translucent fist, which I really appreciate. He's got the glowing fist up here, so I guess that makes sense. But yeah, this guy looks great. And I'm gonna try to get this. I don't. Well, first, I'm gonna figure out if it's a stand. If it's a stand, I'll leave it in there. But if it's like a sticker or something, I want. I want to get that that sticker out. That'd be fun to do something with that. But yeah, it's interesting. So this must be the wave one because I'm not seeing any of the other toys here on the back, like the Pike and so forth. Um, so. This must be wave one and then Pike and the rest of those guys were part of wave two. But, um, you know, like very interesting that, that like I, I remember seeing these toys, but I, I don't remember them being playmates. It's kind of a fun idea um, to think that. Um, I mean, it's like you, you kind of forget about how, how big these comics were in the 90s. I mean, for, for Wildcats to come, to come along and follow up uh ninja turtles that's a that's a big that's a big void to fill um i, I th there's probably a lot of pressure for uh a lot of pressure for the the toys to do well yeah here we says right here it's the wildcat battle base so i guess take like a base that i put the figure on i'll leave it in there because i i don't have a figure to like to put in it but i am going to look for some more of these um the more that i'm ha you know having these figures out and i'm messing with them i kind of want to um i want to maybe get a couple of these loose. I'd like to get grifter loose because he, he was always my favorite. Um, and I like to maybe find that cell phone. <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see it inside. It might be stuck in here somewhere and I just don't, I just don't see it, but it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's just a cell phone. It doesn't take away from the, the, the figure, but this, this, this figure is awesome. Again, did, did anyone have any toy world? 
or toy works i see someone talking about oh, okay so rick is saying toy works was before kb toys and kb toys bought them out all right fair enough yeah i, I don't remember seeing toy works anywhere i just wonder because down here in florida it was all it was all kb i mean you know all the way from the 80s i'm talking about like the malls like all the way in the 80s to like the i mean late 90s it was all kb so i i i never saw toy works or anything like that around jasper yes i mean if if you can part with them i'll 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 i'll, I'll put them up and i'll i'll display them yeah my 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 kate my, my my cat might have ate the uh the 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 cell phone <laughs> It's kind of interesting. I didn't. I didn't even notice that when I bought it. I I, I would have haggled the price a little bit if I would have paid attention. But I was, I was kind of, I was still high on like all the other like wildcats like that I just bought, and I just I saw him and I was like, oh, I want to get him because he's gonna look great next to Grifter. But yeah, I love this. I love these packaging. Super great. All right now, the main man. Everyone's favorite battle cat, probably, right? Who's? I mean, is 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 Grifter not anyone's favorite wild cat? I mean, doesn't everyone just love wild like Grifter? I mean, he's the only one that 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 DC uh, uses now. You know, it's it's crazy because it's like when you think about all the figures that that Jim Lee and Wildstorm have created. Uh, you know, Mister Majestic is another amazing character. Um, you know, you got Mr. Majestic, you've got, you know, all the Wildcats. I mean, a lot of good villains in there and it's like, they don't do anything. <laughs> yeah. I can't be private toys very easily. Um, it, it's very interesting that they, that they have all this complete library of amazing Wildcats, Wildstorm, uh, characters. And all they do is do stuff with Grifter. I mean, I, I think there's a lot of wasted potential. Well, I mean, really, I mean, it's 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 definitely um, it's definitely uh, uh, you know, like when when DC bought Wildstar from from Jim Lee, it was just about buying Jim Lee, you know, and they and they they bought Wildstorm, but I mean, really what they were doing was they were buying Jim Lee and, you know, he's been there ever since, but I mean, it's a shame because they, they have so many good characters over there that they could be doing some stuff with. And it's a shame. Is there even a Wildcats comic book around anymore? I, I it's like, I, I don't really keep up with, um, uh, so many, uh, uh, books, you know, like I, I just kind of pay attention to my friend's books or, you know, there's very few books that I, that I, uh, keep an eye on. Yeah, Max, man, I, I, I agree with you. Like I'm very mad that, that Jim Lee sold them too. I mean, like they were actually one of my favorite, uh, you know, studios. Um, and it's, it's like a shame. Like I, like I, I really liked Mr. Majestic, especially when Ed McGinnis was, was working on, um, uh mr majestic it was amazing um but they have a lot of good stuff i mean like travis charay's work over there on um uh on wildcats was amazing um yeah uh max grifter is showing up in future state but i mean future state is poop you know i mean haven't we just figured that out by now uh yeah yeah i mean greg is 100 right uh you know, Jim sold Wildcats to DC and DC shelved them. You know, he just, they, they, they didn't do anything with them. Uh, and it, it's, it, you know, all they wanted was Jim Lee. Uh, and that's all they have now. You know, all they have now is Jim Lee, but they could be doing some great stuff. Yes. It's a very big, uh, very big mistake for him to do that. I mean, um, I mean, especially right now in this world of crowdfunding, like Jim Lee doesn't even own his character. So like if Jim Lee got the can from DC, which a lot of people think that that day is coming, um, he doesn't even have his characters. Like he, he can't even like leave, he can't even leave DC with dignity with his own characters and crowdfund a Wildcats comic book. I mean, imagine, imagine how great that would be if Jim Lee was able to just leave uh, DC and crowdfund um, a Wildcats trade or something like that. Like he would just totally kill it. Like the, the internet would blow up. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, and then he's right, like Gen 13 as well. Another another great thing that uh, Jim Lee and J. Scott Campbell put together and Brandon Choi, Cho, Cho, right, as well. Uh, it's crazy. It's just like that, that, that they shelved all that stuff. But anyway, let's, let's take a look at this figure. So he comes with his... Uh, his his weird laser guns. Um, it's it's a shame that they didn't give him two of these. Two of these. I mean, this this thing looks like a stable gun is okay, but I think he should have two of these because he has two of them in the pictures. That's that's something else I'm noticing here with these uh, with these figures is they don't really care a whole lot about what's in the what's in the like the photos or what's in the pictures. They're kind of just giving you like what you get. And here we got the quote unquote the communicator that I'm missing from my uh Spartan. But I mean really I mean the Spartan need like a communicator. Isn't he a robot? Like doesn't he have like those bits like in his head already? Um but here uh Grither comes with three guns and a cell phone. Um I do think two of those guns should be exactly the same because that's usually what Grifter rocks. Uh, I understand him coming with a a a weird gun or a, some type of machine gun or shotgun too, but I definitely think him coming with uh, two of the same guns uh, is a smart way to go, but they didn't do it here. Who knows? Um, but yeah, he looks pretty good. Um, looks like he's got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got eight points of articulation. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, like I, I actually think that these the, these guys would look good next to the Playmates Ninja Turtles, but I'd have to kind of put them side by side to kind of see how they look. Uh, but you know, I, I, I might actually, I, I might've actually talked myself into getting Warblade and the rest of the Wildcats just for the sake of displaying. I think having them all in a row would, would look very sexy. Um, but, uh, let's, let's flip this guy over and see what he looks like at the back. So yeah, the back is kind of like that, that same type of back that we just saw with, um, with, uh, Spartan. And this looks like this is part of the wave wave run a uh, uh, wave one of these figures, uh, and I'm definitely in the market. I'm going to be looking for some more of these for sure. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And I, uh, I'll, I'll I'll put up. I think I already put up a, a picture of these. Um, the other day, but I'll put up my a picture of how they're displayed so everyone can kind of see like how I'm rocking these. Yeah, he looks great. All right, let's put him aside. We're gonna we're gonna do some we're gonna take a minute here and do some more shilling real quick. Um, I want to bring up that we are we are getting down to the wire as far as. How many action figures like 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 we're we're having left of the Johnny Phantasm? Um, I think we only have maybe about eight the eight to fifteen slots available of, of the action figure, depending on what you get. Um, but but these guys they're going quick. These are going to be a big hit, and when when uh, the line continues, you're going to be really upset if you miss out on these. I promise you. Um, because we're not making we're not making the 1977 version of Johnny Phantasm again, and we're not making um, the glow in the dark version of uh, Johnny Phantasm again, and we're also not doing the 1985 version of him again. So you know, if if you guys want to get down with those, um, you're gonna want to get get in there and get on that. And I'll, I'll show you guys. I'll do a little a little demo of how to swap the heads out. So here's the packaging. What's fun about our packaging is you can open it up, you can take them out, you can put them back in, you can display them, and you can put them back in the packaging and not even mess up the packaging. It's great. Um, but here, here, like there's gonna be a little bags that are gonna be coming with your figures. Not not a, a bag this big. It's gonna be a little tiny uh, bag, and it, and inside the little tiny bag, there will be a little head with a hat, and the, and the and the hat is kind of rubbery, so you can kind of mess with it a little bit. Uh, but these these heads are really easy to swap out. And what's fun about these is you 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 can mix them up with, with each other if you wanted. You can display them. You can mix them up with other Glios action figures, other toy pizza action figures. But the head, you know, is that easy 
just pop it off, pop it back on, and you can kind of display it how, how you want. You, you know, you can have Johnny with the head or without the hat. With or without the hat. Uh, and, you know, like, f for me, I kind of like all the little accessories that come with these figures. Um, I mean, these guns are great as well. I'll, I'll kind of do a little demonstration how to get them out. So the the gun strap is, is, a, is a separate piece of plastic. It's kind of like rubbery. Oh, watch me not be able to get it out now, but but the guns are are wedged in there. But they 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 do come out with a little bit of, I mean these guns are tiny. I don't know if you can see them, but they're super super tiny. And they you just put them in his hand, and he and Johnny loves holding his guns, like 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 how a man should be, and. There we got Johnny holding his gun. But yeah, I mean, like, like, like when I talk about there being multiple layers of this figure, what I mean by that is it's not just a piece of plastic, you know, there's like, I mean, well, it, it, it's a couple pieces of plastic. It's, you have the figure, you've got the gun straps, you got the necklace, and then you got the, the, the guns that go in the gun straps. So, you know, when you're talking like figure wise, you know, like this, this guy has like three layers, you know, that, that deep as far as conceptually how he goes, um, you got the guns, you got the gun straps, and then you got the Johnny, you know what I'm saying? So you got three layers there. And as you see, the figures go in quite nicely and they, they come out, they go in. I think I think with with the next Johnny figure or the next wave, we're we're gonna be doing some more accessories, like a baseball bat. Um, we're gonna be doing, um, yeah. Here you can see how, how good he turns. Does nice kick action. Um, his hands turn as well. His head moves all over the place. Um, really, really good figure. Um, I was I was shocked. I mean, I, it's it's funny saying this because you know it's like I, I didn't have a I didn't have a I had these examples here in the back, which these are kind of like they're they're resin copies, so they're like really hard. Um, you know, these guys that we have here, like these these are from the machines that are making our figures, so these are exactly how they're going to look. And it's like, and I'm not saying that I, like I was like, uh, you know, like like. Like I wasn't misleading myself, but I was just surprised at how well these figures came out. You know, um, it's it's one thing to 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 you know look forward to something and hope it comes out well, and then when you see it and it beats your expectations, like these figures beat my expectations one hundred percent. Like I didn't think they were gonna come out this well, um, and when people get these figures, they are gonna be amazed of the quality and the precision of them. They're just their faces look great, their hands look great. Many layers of figures. They move. They display like champs. Is there holes in the bottom for the feet? Yeah, and we, we, and we there's pegs in the bottom, so you can put these in pegs too. Um, really good action figure. So, if you haven't gotten down with Johnny Phantasm Fant the action figure, uh, I say get on it because um, these figures are going quick. Um, we we only we only ordered 550 of these, and. Uh, we're, we're at uh, 500 action figures sold right now. Now, we have to keep some of those figures because, yes, some of these will get lost in the mail and some of them might be damaged. So I have to keep some of them in reserve. But we are going to be selling these for maybe a couple more days and then the campaign is be closing down. So if you haven't gotten your Johnny Phantasm action figure, now's the time. Get on it. Get on it. You know, hail, hail Johnny Phantasm. Let's, let's, let's get him moving. And again, like, I want to thank everyone that has gotten down with Johnny because you, you've kind of pushed things over. So we are going to be doing more figures later on down the road. Um, we're going to be doing some henchmen to go along with Johnny. And then we're going to be doing the Scarlet Heart to go along with Johnny as well, which Scarlet Heart is kind of like the Batman, the hero of the story. So we, we definitely have some things coming up on the horizon. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be very excited to, to share all that with everyone. Um, but yeah, I mean, everyone that's back that I appreciate it. You're, you're, you're making it happen for us. We're going to make it happen for you. And we're going to make more of these figures down the road. So I definitely appreciate everyone getting down. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, unfortunately, Johnny does get pegged, you know, it, it, but it's in the feet. So if that's that's if that's a little bit of uh, better than getting pegged in the rear. Oh, man down, man down. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I want to thank everyone for, for 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 coming this Sunday. I was a little bit late. Normally, I do it earlier with my boy Blake, um, but I, uh, I I kind of slept in a little bit today. Uh, just because, well, I mean, sometimes you just got to sleep in, you know, I mean, ask Shane Davis, he sleeps in every day. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to pick up this figure real quick oh. to show you that he, he can, he can fall and still look good. Oh. So he fell, let's see, he fell and his necklace actually came off. So that's what he looks like without his necklace, but the necklace goes on very easily. Bloop. And there he is. He's, he's making it happen. Uh, but, yeah, I, I want to thank everyone for, for coming by this Sunday and spending spending an hour and a half with me talking about some toys. I was excited about my my Image 90s toy haul. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm stoked everyone wanted to, to kind of see what I had to say. Um, damn it. It's the paper you send on. It's, like, kind of warped. But, uh yeah, everyone, I, I definitely appreciate you you coming by and spending this day with me. Um, please give me a thumbs up if, if you have not. Please su subscribe if you have not. And also, you know, again, like share out this video if you can. And it's good some more people watching it. It helps me, helps the channel grow. Uh, it helps get Johnny out there too as well. Um, but uh, as usual, uh, if you're watching this now or if you're watching this later, uh, I appreciate it. Um, everyone have a good Sunday. And I will talk to everyone later. Hail everyone, and uh, everyone have a good day. I'll see you.